I'm going to try to make guava jelly or guava jam today. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. Take a look at the big bowl of guava I got. The next door neighbor at my shop where I have my printing business, she brought this from her tree at home. And so because we can't stand the smell, I've kind of rushed home here and I'm going to make some guava jelly. Let's zoom in. Let me show you what I'm going to do to them, okay? I've already washed them and then let me show you what I'm going to do to them. So let me show you what we're doing with the guavas. I've washed and cleaned them like I said and I'm cutting off the head and the tail. This is really, really ripe. This one's really ripe. And I'm just kind of dicing them as small as I can go. And then I'm putting them in this huge pot right here. And then when I'm done dicing all of them and putting them in there, I'm going to go ahead and add some water to the pot. So let me go ahead and get all the guavas diced up, okay? Take a look at my pot. See, it's not too shallow at all. It's kind of deep. And I already cut up all the guavas. Look how much I got. It's a lot, right? So let me add some water to this and then I'll tell you how much water I added. So I've moved my pot to the stove and I've added 10 cups of water and I'm allowing this to boil for about 30 minutes. Then I'm going to check on it to see if it's soft enough to go through a strainer. And see all I've added was the water is like a little bit above where the guava is because you know of course the guava has risen to the top, right? So it's 10 cups of water that I've added to this pot but if you're using a different like a taller pot you just want to add the water just to above the guava, maybe like a half inch to an inch above because this has already risen to the top. So it's been about 20 minutes since I put the guava on to boil and it's looking pretty soft and smelling way better than it smelled before the fruit started off raw. I'm going to give it another 10 minutes and I'm going to put it through the strainer. I have a colander and all I'm going to do is pour the guava out so that the water could be strained through the colander. And then I'm still gonna put it through a strainer, okay? I think if you were to have like a cheese cloth or something, you would get more juice out of it too. Let me get this out of the way for a quick minute because I wanna show you what's at the bottom of the pot. Look at all the seeds and stuff right there. We don't want that in our, in our jam or jelly, okay? So let me lift this out. It's hot. See? Look how much we got right there. And then I'm gonna still press this through a strainer. So I'm just going to hold it here till it's all drained. So you want to use your oven mitts. And I'm going to put the rest of this through a strainer to get as much juice as I can get out of it, okay? Look, quite a bit, huh? So this is all I'm doing now. Is just taking these parts. We don't want these parts in the juice because it's not going to make the guava jelly come out good if we get these parts in there. So we're just going to press it through. That's why I said if you have some type of cheese, a white cheese cloth or something, you could actually put it in there and squeeze through like that. But all I have is that strainer, so that's what I'm going to use to get the rest of it done. And I'm going to toss the leftovers in a plate. So I'm switching to a different pot because I don't, I don't have the time to wash that other pot right now. And I want to measure to see how much juice we really got. That's two cups. And let's see if we can get another two cups. Yeah, it's another two cups. And the little remainder of the water that's left in this bowl, I'm gonna put through the strainer again. I don't want any of the seeds in there, okay? So this is the amount we got. About four cups of the juice. Let's see after we reduce this down, how much of the jelly we're actually gonna get. So I'm gonna put this back on the stove now, all right? These are the ingredients that we're gonna need to continue making the guava jelly or the guava jam. I'm gonna call it guava jelly. We're gonna need the juice of one orange and I'm gonna start off here with half a cup of firmly packed brown sugar. If I need more, I'll let you know along the way. It's been about 15 minutes since we started cooking the um, jelly on the stove with the brown sugar and the juice of the orange. You can see this kind of foamy stuff on the top and I call it dross, you know, like when you do gold and it gets that dross on the top, so it's kind of drossy, see? But I can feel it already. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I can feel it already kind of getting 
in more thick it doesn't feel just kind of like watery like just juice it's getting a little bit thicker and so I would imagine that we have a ways to go on this I'm thinking at least another hour but I'll let you guys know I just wanted to turn the camera on real quick and show you it's getting reduced down and it's getting kind of drossy on the top but it's fine it smells pretty good this is right at about an hour of cooking on the stove and I tasted it just now and it's not sweet enough and I can taste more of the orange that I put in it than like a sweet type jelly or jam so I'm putting another quarter cup of brown sugar in this I don't think I need a full half cup so I'm just doing quarter so that that in the long run ended up being three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar that's in this and I think we're kind of nearing the end because see it's getting thicker and thicker so this is right about an hour we're gonna, I'm gonna stay here and monitor it more closely now and then we'll see when it's time to actually shut off the fire okay so this is how we're gonna test it we're gonna get a little bit of the drippings on this spoon we're just gonna drip it on this clean white plate we're gonna let it sit for a few seconds and we're gonna use like the tips of our finger to see if it's feeling more like jelly or more like liquid okay and we're gonna keep doing this and that's how we're gonna know when it's done So we, we went for a total of one hour and 10 minutes and I believe it's done. Look at how it's bubbling in there. Look when you kind of pull it away from the edge of the pot, see? And when I dripped it on my little plate, let me get my plate, show you guys my little drip. And then I touch it right here. It's really feeling kind of thick. And I'm afraid if we go much longer, then it's going to get too thick and we won't be able to pour it into the jar. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut my fire off. I'm gonna let it sit here for a few minutes until I can handle it. Well, I'm gonna let it cool down, you know, so that I can pour it into the jar. And I didn't tell you guys beforehand because I kind of had to go around and search to find a jar. And I found a jar. My dad had given me some guava jelly in this jar before. He had made some before. And he gave it to me in this little jar right here. So that's all I'm using. It was finished. You can tell I like guava jelly, right? It was finished and so I'm going to use this jar to pour that into in a little while. So when we come back, I'll be showing you the finished product. So here we are pouring our beautiful guava jelly into the jar. And I keep hearing that song playing in my head. I think it's a Bob Marley song that says, rub it on my belly like guava jelly. <laughs> we got quite a bit. I don't think I expected to get this much. I'm um, almost filling up this jar. Just beautiful. I'm gonna get it cleaned out properly, guys, but I just wanted to show off my guava jelly. Nothing goes to waste, right? Take a look. It is so beautiful and it tastes so good. This is gonna last me all winter now. So this is some of the jelly that I allowed to cool down for quite a few hours. And I wanted to show you how thick and beautiful it is. See, it can fall off of the spatula. It's not like glue, okay? It's definitely like a jam or a jelly. We've got some chunks of the guava in here that kind of escaped through the strainer. But I am so pleased with how this came out. This is beautiful. We could put this on crackers or toast or something. Let me taste it. Wow, that's pretty good. Our Creole word today is cruffy. Cruffy is just another term for saying a Belizean person or a Creole person. I am so pleased with how guava jelly came out. You know, I, didn't, I don't know what I expected. You know, this is the first time I tried the recipe and I was so brave because usually I'm a little wimp when it comes to trying a recipe for the first time, especially when Joe and I sit here and kind of concoct things in our brain. I usually pass it to him first, have him do all the hard work, all the mess ups, and after he perfects the recipe, he hands it back over to me. So when I make it, I have all the easy work, right? I, I'm such a horrible wife. You know, I, I don't know how Joe puts up with me. I guess maybe because he's such a darling husband. But anyways, I want you guys to try this. Tell me if you try a different fruit. You know, I'm thinking all these ideas of maybe we could use mango, you know, uh, strawberries. I, there's, man, there's going to be a plethora 
of fruits that we could use if we want to make preserves, right? But this is how I'm doing the guava jelly. I'm sure we could probably trade out the orange juice or maybe lime or lemon juice. Maybe I'll try that in the future, but for right now, I wanted to try it with orange juice and it really gave it just a nice taste. Thanks, all, thanks as always for watching the show, for picking up the book, for sharing the show with your friends and family, for you know just granting me access into your home. Until I see you again, take care.